Okay, so this for class 10 uh, biology. The name of chapter is your life processes and the topic is your respirations. So now in this topic, now we are going to learn about what is respiration. Respiration in the plant and as well as in the case of the animals. So first of all, let's see here what is this respiration. Respiration uh, is of the process of oxidation. This is actually a process of the oxidation. What is oxidation? Now, the organism they need energy and uh, they get the energy from the food. And the food is digested and then only the energy is produced. Now there is a process, the food is digested and then the energy is produced. How the energy is produced? The production of the energy, it depends upon the, the oxygen. Oxygen. All the living organisms, they need oxygen for breathing process. And uh, with the help of the breathing, they take oxygen inside their body. And after that, oxygen enter our cells. Each and every cells of the body get oxygen. Now we know that in our cell, suppose this is a cell, this is nucleus, and inside our body, the cell is present and the cell have one organelle that is known as your mitochondria. This is your mitochondria, suppose here is a mitochondria and we know that in the mitochondria, what happens here? The oxidation, oxidation of the food takes place and after oxidation only, they release the energy. They release energy. So that's why uh, you know that in Kwachan also you have thought that the mitochondria is called the powerhouse of the cell. Why? Because the, in the mitochondria, the production of the energy takes place here. So energy, that energy is in the form of the ATP. So ATP is your adenosine triphosphate. So this is a, the form of the energy which is produced in the mitochondria. So whole process you can see here how the energy is produced here. For the production of the energy in food and after the digestion of the food only, the oxygen is utilized. That oxygen is utilized and that oxygen converts that food energy food into the energy. So whole process you are getting here, this whole process is known as your respiration. This is called respiration. So during respiration, what you get here? Oxygen is needed. This oxygen is needed. So this is known as respiration. So respiration it is a continuous process. This process is taking place in all the organisms. In the microorganism also and in the multicellular organism also. The plant body also respiration is going on continuously and in the all the animal body also respiration is going on continuously. So the next is your uh, the types of the respiration. You can see what are the different types of respiration. Now there are two different types of the respiration is there. Number one is your aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and end is your anaerobic respiration. So let us see what is the difference between the, this uh, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So by the name of you understand your aerobic. Aerobic means in the presence of the oxygen. Just now I told you that uh, the respirations are giving respiration the oxygen is needed. But there are some organisms where they do not need oxygen. Without oxygen also, the respiration takes place in their body. So that is why in the absence of the oxygen here, in the absence of oxygen also, respiration takes place. That is known as your anaerobic respiration. And here in the aerobic respiration, what is needed here? The oxygen is needed here. So this is the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. And uh, I told you that during the respiration, in both the aerobic as well as the anaerobic, the main product, the last product of this respiration is your energy. 
Here also NS is produced, in this case also the energy is produced. So we, uh, without energy, the organism cannot live. And uh, for all the metabolic activities of the life, the energy is needed. So here also, during anaerobic respiration, the end product is the energy. And in uh, anaerobic respiration also, the end product is the energy. So energy is released. So this is the difference between the aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So aerobic respiration is using again uh, the all the organisms like plant, animals, they need oxygen. So that's why their uh, aerobic respiration takes place. But uh, some organisms are here, like uh, yeast. Take example yeast. What is this? Yeast is a type of fungus. This is a fungus. It belongs to kingdom fungi. And uh, the yeast is a microorganism which do not need oxygen for the respiration. So anaerobic respiration takes place in the case of yeast. And some other bacteria are also there. Anaerobic bacteria, they also they also they don't need the oxygen for the respiration. So these are some organisms where aerobic respiration takes place and the anaerobic respiration takes place. Now, uh, let us come to the, the respiration in the case of the uh, plant. In the case of the plant, we know that the, the glucose molecule, that is the C6S12 plant, C6S12O6, this is the main product. After photosynthesis, the glucose is formed. At this glucose, Molecule they have to be oxidized and after oxidation only the energy is produced. Energy is produced. So for the respiration, the oxygen is utilized. So what happens in the case of the plant during photosynthesis? Photosynthesis, the oxygen is produced. During photosynthesis, uh, the glucose is also produced and the oxygen is also produced. That oxygen, some amount of the oxygen is utilized by the plant during the respiration. They also release uh, this oxygen is the uh, the byproduct byproduct of the plant. Uh, but uh, some amount of the oxygen is utilized for the respiration process, and it's a continuous process. In the day also, in the daytime also respiration takes place. In the night time also respiration takes place in the plant. You know that the photosynthesis, photosynthesis only takes place during the daytime in the presence of light. But the respiration it is a continuous process. In the day or in the night also, the respiration takes place. Now, uh, if you see uh, in the case of the uh, human beings in the east and in some organisms, there is a pathway. There is a pathway how do glucose molecule Suppose if you see here, uh, I'll take example of the glucose molecule C6, S12, O6. This is the glucose molecule. It is also known as a carbohydrate. After the digestion of the food, after the digestion of the food, uh, the, this glucose molecule is produced in our body. And how do aerobic respiration take place? And how do anaerobic respiration take place? There's a different path. So how it is oxidized? Let us see. Now what happens in the first step? This glucose molecule. With the glucose molecule, you can see here there is a six carbon atom is present. C six. C six means uh, six carbon atom is present. This six carbon atom now convert into the three carbon atom that is known as a binding weight. It's called binding weight. So pi root weight and here the 6 carbon atom now there will be only a 3 carbon atom this molecule is known as what pi root weight now conversion of the glucose molecule into the pi root weight this takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell now in cytoplasm this take place in cytoplasm. This is the first step of the, the respiration. 
these are the, the pathway and the, the process of the respiration I am explaining here. So first, again I will say, the, what is the first step of here? The glucose molecule, after the digestion of the food, the food converts into the glucose and the glucose molecule has a 6 carbon atom and this glucose now converts into the fibrobate and the fibrobate is a 3 carbon atom and whole process they take place in the cytoplasm of the cell on this process of respiration they take place in the cell only now after that now the path is now different and right like this so you can understand it a bit of it so the pyramid molecules now what happens here the first part is here in the absence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen in the absence of the oxygen this pyruvate now they convert into the another product that is known as your ethanol 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 then the other is your carbon dioxide CO2 and the some amount of the energy is produced here plus the right here E is the energy so you can see here the pyruvate so in the absence of the oxygen here again the, the pyruvate then converts into the ethanol then there is carbon dioxide and the some amount of the energy is released so this is one of the pathway here so what is happening here again I will say that glucose molecule is converting into the pyruvate and the pyruvate converts into the ethanol but in the absence of oxygen so here I am writing here absence of oxygen this means here the anaerobic respiration is going on anaerobic this pathway is your anaerobic respiration now let us uh, see the another pathway here so in the another pathway what happens here the pyruvate in the lack of oxygen this is here lack of oxygen it is not absence this is of lack of oxygen what happens here the pyruvate will convert into the lactic acid now this is your lactic acid it is a type of acid plus some amount of energy E is the energy so this uh, lactic acid is produced sometimes what happens we do exercise we do uh, dance continuously we run we play at the time what happens our body feel tired we feel tired that is called fatigue so in that case what happens the, uh, the body our body uh, in the lack of the oxygen so in that case directly the pyruvate converts into the lactic acid that's why we feel tired and fatty so this is only because of what lactic acid and when you take rest rest for some time then slowly and slowly our body gets oxygen and the lactic acid is removed so that the, uh, the time is will be over so this is the second pathway now the last pathway is there now this uh, the last pathway is here uh, what happens here this last pathway it is in the presence of oxygen presence of oxygen and in the presence of oxygen this process takes place in the mitochondria the organelle of the cell this uh, process takes place so glucose molecule converts into pyruvate the cytoplasm only but pyruvates now they convert into the, the another molecule and that is your the carbon dioxide CO2 there is some amount of water that is H2O and there is the E E is what? energy your energy so this happens in the mitochondria in the presence of oxygen so this process this pathway is your aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is going on here so this uh, whole uh, chart diagram I have drawn here so this whole chart diagram explains you how the respiration takes place in the different organism now, I told you that uh, this anaerobic respiration they take place in the yeast now here again I will say the yeast 
this pathway is for the east. And this all this thing they take this in the human body and in the plant body. Yeah, this is also in plant body and this in the human body. So these are the pathways. So I'll write here this is the pathway. This is a diagram, the pathway of respiration. So in this way we have completed the respiration. Uh, so you get this much?